Hey, what is up, guys? It's your Brownie here. But today, I'm going to be reviewing the NECA King Kong action figure. If you want to pick this up, I picked this up at the Walmart. I was there at 8 a.m., blah, blah, blah. And I don't know. I This is one of those action figures that has always been around. Well, not this one particularly. Like, NECA produces others like uh, Kaiju, such as Godzilla. And I think uh, the other, some of the other Kaiju, they do Jason, Freddy, Leatherface, Ash Williams, yada, yada, yada. And I do have, I do have NECA. A figure? I only have uh, actually one. What am I saying? It is the God of War Kratos. I have that as a NECA. But this one, I don't know why, but King Kong's always been my favorite. So when I saw this, I just had to pick it up. And this is the original King Kong 2 with the derpy face. But looking into the box, as you can see, I was already kind of spinning around. He does have a lot of action shots of Kong. And he does have the advertising of King Kong like this one right here. Or this one. Or this one. Or oh, even this one. The top, it does say King Kong. That's upside down. It's produced by NECA. And the bottom is just some little bit of stuff. But when you open, the thing about NECA, when you open it up, you could, yeah, you can open up the box. And that's the beauty of NECA products. But I don't want to get in too much into the box itself. I do want to just talk a little bit more. This shot right here, beautiful. Looking into the box. You do see Kong. He does come with only one uh, interchangeable head and two interchangeable hands. And we're going to see into that right now. But that's enough talking about the box. Let's crack this thing open. And here he is out of the packaging. Uh, so far, I've been playing with the figure for a little bit. Only problem I would have at the moment is um, him standing. He cannot stand to save his life. I don't know. It's weird. He does have peg holes on the bottom of his feet. I might have to use one of the, one of my stands and use them for it. But no, he cannot stand to save his life. But let's look into the accessories and put them back over there. Here is the one of the face sculpts. This is the one that came in the in the original. I just swapped it out with the angry face. We'll take a look at that right now. This is the original. Well, this is the way he used to look like in the false King Kong movie in the 1931. And yeah, it's this goofy one. I, I don't know. A lot of people had a conf uh, a lot of people had problems with this face, but I like it. I like the goofiness, and I also like how they added the blood details. Like he's been in a bunch of fights, and even the paint, the little brown, and then you see it comes with the skin tone of the black. Even the teeth, the teeth is well sculpted and detailed too. Like look at that chomping down on anything he also does come with two opposable hands these are like more of a gorilla lunging at you hands uh they do move but they're kind of they're kind of rough now nah, neck toys are really rough sometimes i believe yeah uh, again these do come with the same paint apps as like it's brown with some black shadowing <coughs> and then you can see the black the the skin tone is really nice and you can see a little bit of the dirt between the nail between the fingers and we'll look into the we'll see how it looks on the figure itself all right let's look into the figure okay so this is the scope i'm leaving on for right now i might just leave the the goofy head scope in my display but man look at that you can see the scratch marks the blood that mouth what did that mouth do king kong my monkey boy and this is his angry attack uh expression and then going down in his chest, you do see a little bit more scratch marks. Uh, he does have, uh, oh yeah, he does have ab swivel. He doesn't have waist swivel. It's and then I'm going down. You see more of the fur detail that is put it on, and it's really nice. Neca he knows how to make awesome figures. Um, we're gonna get into some of the grace and articulation a bit, and then uh, going down. You can see more of the, the the scope and all that, and you see his little monkey toes, his little gorilla toes. In the back, it's just you know the gorilla. <laughs> but okay, let's look into articulation. Heads, he looks mighty high. Like his, he can look really high up, which is weird because he's King Kong, and he can look not that great down. But with the ab scope, he can look pretty down too. Well, he does, like I said before, he does have this ab. Uh, swivel he okay 
it's a little rough to move it. It does have, it will kind of like, uh, if you move the legs, it will kind of hit the plastic right here, but it's kind of more uh, of a loose plastic, so it won't really ruin that much. He kicked that far out. He can't kick that far back in at all. He does have double jointed knees, and he does have foot rotation and some ankle pivot. His arms do rotate all the way around. He has some very long arms, but he is an ape. His arms do not go out that oh it does a little bit he does have double jointed elbows that's what threw me off this doesn't even look like double jointed elbows he does have wrist rotation and some pivot from that it's not that much accessories with this figure i if i would uh i would wish it would have came with like a boat or like a rock or something for him to throw but this is fine i think this is like the only kong NECA toy the only kong that NECA has made and it would be cool if they made one of the Skull Island uh, King Kong. Because I do want to watch the King Kong vs. Godzilla movie that's coming out apparently 2021. Hopefully. And this is a cool neck. I like this. This is a cool figure. Like, this is going to be cool my display. Uh, I'm going to have to get Godzilla soon. So I can have a old, good old Godzilla vs. King Kong display. But for height, full bar height comparison, he stands roughly... Around, oh wait, hold on, seven inches, seven and somewhat inches tall. Uh, for uh, oh, full size comparison, here is next to my DC Multiverse Shazam from the movie. You could use if you don't want to use this Kong as King Kong, you could use it as like a custom Gorilla Grodd. That's what some people's been doing, and I like the size comparison. You know, looks like it for a NECA comparison. Here it is next to the God of War Kratos NECA. The shoulder piece kind of fell off when I was bringing it out here. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, you can't really have a size comparison with King Kong. You know, like a well, eighty foot eight next to a nine foot tall demigod. But I like this height comparison. Fantastic full thing figure. It doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look that bad. I like how, like, I don't know, it's like, this is more, <sighs> Kong comes with a hard plastic, that's all I can say. And, uh, that's not all, guys, we still had to do. Time for G's pin collection, this is where I show pins off and put open the wall. Dayswick's pin is gonna be this son Goku from the Broly movie. It's another Figma pin. I'm gonna put them up right here. Try to spread out the pins as I go. If you guys like the video, if you guys want to see me open up more NECA action figures, please hit that like button. Leave that, hit that subscribe button to see more figures on the way. And yeah, peace.